I would first say he is Mr. WSU. You will be loved by a lot of WSU people if, you're, if you've seen as Mr. Cougar. He's Mr. WSU. That's been his whole life and he's devoted it to WSU and WSU loves him for it. I just think the world of Bob Smalley. I just think he's the greatest guy in the world and I'm so thrilled he's getting this award. The Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer Award is named after Hoot Gibson, one of our most beloved alumni for his lifetime of service to Washington State University. When I first found out that Bob was going to be receiving the award, I literally had tears in my eyes because I was so touched and honored that we would be honoring somebody like Bob. Bob Smalley was born and raised on a farm near Pullman, Washington. Early in life, he began his love affair with Washington State, often doing odd jobs on the campus. At Pullman High School, he loved sports, playing both football and basketball. Bob graduated in 1946 and soon joined the Navy. He was stationed at Pearl Harbor, and after serving his country, he enrolled at Washington State College. I know that Bob had played basketball at WSU on the freshman basketball team. He was, he was ac active and, and in good shape. He was also active in his fraternity. Bob was definitely a big man on campus as an undergraduate. He was a Sigma Nu and a heartthrob. In 1950, Bob married his college sweetheart, Carol Frost, and two years later he became a proud father and received a bachelor's degree in business. And then he began his lifelong career at WSU. Bob has held a multitude of positions at WSU. He first worked for intercollegiate athletics as the ticket manager, and he always had great stories to tell. Well, the San Jose game was in 1955, and um, I was a senior here, and it was a freezing cold day. I have no idea how cold it was. Minus five in Pullman that day, and only one reserved ticket was sold at the gate. The players and even the few students that went, they were all standing down on the field with their hands over the open burning barrels. That's how they kept warm in those days. So Bob Smalley gave the loan ticket holder a refund. He also coordinated the Cougar Club, worked in business affairs, general services, even as superintendent of university police, the Performing Arts Coliseum, alumni relations, and university relations. For 12 years, he worked uh, with me in the office next door. He gives his uh, all to uh, every project. He's got a special spirit about him. And he just never turns down an assignment. And I think that's um, an indication of the confidence that every president, um, and the, he served under five, every president that he has served under has felt about Bob. He loved anything that had to do with Washington State University. And he'd come into my office and we'd talk about WSU because I love WSU too. When I came in here, he was one of the individuals that was introducing me to people, guiding me as far as who I should want to talk to, who I wanted to meet. And Bob was a wonderful teacher. He would be talking to people around the state. He knew, knew all or knows all of the governors, uh, the elected officials. By the time President Smith arrived on campus, the fledgling foundation was in place. Connie Kravis was running it, but Bob was right there encouraging everybody that this is the way the world is going to go. One of the things that he and I both observed is that we had a lot of younger people coming into our organizations, the Alumni Association and the Foundation, who didn't have that Cougar uh, history. And so he agreed that he would put together just a few slides just to give them a little grounding. Well, 
if you know Bob, he is so organized, so thorough, and uh, every few months he would show those slides from that point on to one group or another. Literally hundreds of slideshows and presentations. You know, long before there was PowerPoint or Google or Facebook or uh, any of these other technologies, it was Bob Smalley bringing life and breadth to the history of WSU. Bob was also one of the few who recognized that the Alumni Center could be built from an old barn. First time I walked in there, there were, let's just say there were still remnants of occupant uh, cows on the floor. But he and Keith Lincoln and others were talking about what could be done. Bob was instrumental because we had to come up with a lot of money to make this thing happen because there's no state money in this building. The Lewis Alumni Center remains dear to Bob Smalley. I think it also speaks to kind of the vibrancy of Bob's uh, spirit, that he's here uh, practically every day uh, taking care of the plants, taking care of the center, you know, doing what he can to, to make this place uh, a beautiful part of, uh, of our campus. Bob Smalley has received a number of prestigious awards, sat on dozens of committees, and made a profound difference in the Pullman community. I was thinking about Bob's tenure, it has to be over 60 years, um, and if you take the number of days, that might be 20, 22, 23,000 days, and I'll bet not a single day went by that he didn't raise a friend for the university or the foundation. Bob is the most personal, friendly, outgoing, individual you can ever imagine. He knows who you are, who your spouse is, what your children's names are. What we all need to do is think about what is it about WSU that we so cherish, and Bob is going to be all of those things. He's honorable, he's incredibly devoted. He works very, very hard. He does what he says he's going to do. He'll never forget you or fail to be courteous or kind or loving. I came to Pullman as a freshman sight unseen. And while I wasn't so far away from Seattle, I still felt very homesick. And having people like Bob and Carol in my life was really comforting because it was like having a family away from home. I think Bob is uh, the perfect example of a family man. Bob and Carol's three daughters are all loyal coogs. And with 10 grandchildren and 12 great-grandkids, there are more potential Cougar grads to follow in his footsteps. And everybody would like to claim him as their, as their own, as their best friend, their best worker ever, uh, their leader. Uh, so it's, in this case, the foundation gets the opportunity to, to recognize Bob and claim him for one of their own. Well, there's an irony here because Bob and Connie and uh, all of us were involved in the creation of this award uh, along with the foundation leadership back in the early 80s. And Bob used to be the presenter of this award for years uh, at the annual WSU dinner. So I can't think of anything more appropriate than Bob having spent all of these years from the day of its inception uh, honoring others to be honored tonight. I just wish that I could say more about Bob because he is such a great person and um, we all love him to death. He is that person that cares so much about this institution that he wants it to be there for the people that come after us and he truly cares about the legacy of WSU. Bob, I know right now Buck Bailey and Hoot Gibson are smiling from heaven. There is no one who they more proudly are honoring today, and I join them. We're so, so thankful that you've been a part of our lives.